The next grammar point is declension of adjectives and possessives. Just as nouns, the adjectives that end in R change with the postposition. The ending R changes to A with the postposition in the oblique case. The adjectives with other endings do not change, they stay the same. Let's take some examples. Bada shahar, a big city. Bade shahar mein, in a big city. The A ending of bada change to A in the oblique case with the postposition mein. Bade shahar mein. It's never bada shahar mein. Let's take another one. Chota kamra, a small room. Chote kamre mein, in a small room. Because of the postposition mein, chota kamra became chote kamre mein. The A of chota became A, chote. Here in this example, the adjective and the noun and in A, so they both will change to A, chote kamre mein. It will never be chota kamra mein. The next one, acha school, a good school. It becomes ache school with the postposition. Ache school mein, in a good school. It's not acha school mein. And the last example, lamba ladka, a tall boy will become lambe ladke. Lambe ladke ke saath with a tall boy. Here too, the noun and the adjective and in a, so they both will change to a. It will not be lamba ladka ke saath. Just remember, only a changes to a, rest other endings do not change. Badi nadi, a big river stays the same. Badi nadi mein, in the big river. Sundar makan, beautiful house, stays the same. Sundar makan mein, in a nice house. Achhi kitab, a good book, also stays the same. Achhi kitab se from a good book. The only rule to remember here is that the adjectives that end in a change to a with the postposition. Other adjectives do not change. Let's now take possessives. The possessives are like variable adjectives. They behave like variable adjectives. The masculine possessives end in a, so they will change to a with the postposition. Only the possessives that end in A change to A with the postpositions. The others do not. Here are some examples. Mera shahar, my city. Mere shahar mein, in my city. The A of mera becomes A. Mere shahar mein, in my city. It will not be mera shahar mein. The next example. Aapka kamra, your room. It will become aapke kamre mein, in your room. Aapka ends in A and kamra also ends in A. So both will change to A with the postposition. Aapke kamre mein, in your room. It will not be aapka kamra mein. And the final example, Hamara school, our school, will become hamare school mein, in our school. Hamara will become hamare. It will not be hamara school mein. Just like the adjectives, the other possessive that do not end in a, do not change with the postposition. Uski kitab, his, her book, stays the same. Uski kitab se, from her, his book. Hamare khidki, our window, will also not change. Hamare khidki par, on our window. In both examples, the possessives do not end in a, so they do not change. Let's take some example sentences. Chote kamre mein kursi nahi hai. There is no chair in the small room. So, chota kamra becomes chote kamre mein with the postposition. Mere ghar mein teen kamre hain. There are three rooms in my house. Again, mera becomes mere with the postposition. Mere ghar mein in my house. The next one. Hamari class mein do ladke hain. There are two boys in our class. The noun class is feminine and the possessive is hamari that does not end in a. So it will not change. Hamari class mein in our class. And the final example. Ye kitab tumhari beti ke liye hai. This book is for your daughter. Tumhari beti is feminine, that means the possessive pronoun does not end in a. So it will stay the same with the postposition. Tumhari beti ke liye, for your daughter. <laughs>